just a typical day in the Witten family. Things are hectic and there is no time for their car to not work properly. Well, my crazy morning routine um, consists of getting lunches ready, cleaning up dishes from breakfast. We usually are rushing. There's usually something that's happened that causes us to be behind. My car is very important to me. We rely on it immensely. Well, I don't know anything about car maintenance. I only know there is something wrong with my car if a light comes on or I hear a noise. Studies show up to 77% of women feel misunderstood by automakers and get taken advantage of by mechanics. So it is important to be educated when it comes to vehicle maintenance. Based on the loud noise Nicole's vehicle was making, she decided to take it in to the mechanic to run a few tests. I don't really trust very many mechanics. I feel like they know I have no idea what's going on with my car. The mechanic checks the serpentine belt to determine whether the noise was a chirp or a squeal. Once he determines if the serpentine belt must be replaced, the installation is quick and easy. He uses a variety of tests to determine if the serpentine belt is what is wrong with the vehicle. The front end accessory drive serpentine belt controls many aspects. Um, you've got your alternator, you've got a power steering, you've got a compressor, pretty much all the front end accessories of a motor. Well, in industry standard, you have what's the 60 to 90 rule. Um, in our industry, you like to inspect, initial inspect is 60,000 miles, where we found the premium replacement is right around 90,000 miles. We have a water bottle test that we were able to do, and what the water bottle test does is it actually helps you really differentiate the difference between a squeal and a chirp. Um, we found that the chirp is primarily caused by misalignment, where your squeal is primarily caused by lack of tension. All right, ma'am, so as you know, your car is over 100,000 miles and you are getting some noise from your belt. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a water bottle test. Okay. Which is we're gonna spray the belt and if the belt is chirping, it just might need to be tightened. But if it squeals, then we need to replace a tensioner and the belt all together. So okay. let's see what we're happens. we're talking about that belt right here. Exactly. Right? Okay. So as you can hear, you're getting some squealing going on. Yeah. So the tensioner and the belt will have to be replaced. So I guess that's all we need to do? That's it, that should fix the problem and you should be good to go. Okay. If you take it to your local repair shop or if you, if you talk to a, a parts store, they, we actually have tools to actually measure the rib, rib depth gauge because your belts are now wearing similar to tires with the components and the compound that they're made out of. Okay, ma'am, so this is the belt that we replaced your car with. Okay. And this was your old one. Okay. As you can see, when we put this bar in here, there's a test to see if the belt worn out, it's flat. Oh, I see. And this one will be raised if you want to touch it. Oh, yeah. And that's how we knew that it needed to be replaced. Okay. Okay? All right, very good. I feel much better when the mechanic can show me what's wrong with the car, and then I can feel confident that I can let my daughter drive it, and nothing's going to break down. When he shows me exactly what's wrong, it makes me feel very comfortable. This is great. The car works. It runs well. No more funny noises. No more lights coming on. I feel very good about giving this car to you now. I can't wait to be able to drive this car now. It's good. Everything works. Providing the maintenance to keep your vehicles running properly, Deco approaches the market differently from most of its competition. Built for passenger cars and light duty trucks, Deco's extensive line of poly rib serpentine belts are engineered for high mileage.